au Niger, les gens vivent en harmonie dans le pays. Et le Nigérien, il est très hospitalier. Ce qu'il faut comprendre des Nigériens, d'abord, entre nous, il y a beaucoup de liens de cousinage. En matière de biodiversité, il y a beaucoup d'enjeux de, dans le cadre de la conservation. Et maintenant, le sujet qui nous préoccupe cette année, c'est surtout la girafe. Many people would not know it, but Niger is home to the last West African giraffe in the wild. There's none in any zoos around the world. They're right here. Together with the Niger government and the Sahara Conservation Fund and the local community, we're here to try and make a huge difference to help save the last West African giraffe. Les girafes vivent avec la population. Le gouvernement du Niger a eu la présence d'esprit d'organiser la conservation, la protection. Et maintenant, elles se sont multipliées, ces girafes-là. Vraiment, nous en sommes fiers d'avoir pu conserver les dernières girafes de l'Afrique de l'Ouest. The West African giraffe in the last 100 to 200 years were spread everywhere from Senegal in the west through to Nigeria. And slowly but surely they dwindled down as human population growth, expanded agricultural needs and of course poaching, unfortunately. But since then, they all got concentrated in a community area right here in Niger. On est passé dans les années 92 à une cinquantaine d'individus, mais en 2017, nous avons déjà 607 individus. All the eggs are in one basket, so to speak. If we set up new populations, satellite populations, just in case there's something going wrong, we can then have these populations that are safe and secure. To carry out conservation activities in this part of the world is very challenging. First of all, because of logistics, of course. It's, uh, everything is far away, is remote. Put it this way, something very simple is to put animals in a truck. Never happened here. No clue people know how to do that. What kind of truck are we going to use? So we said, all right, so maybe we could ask the, um, the support of the, of the army because we know they use these trucks and um, there is a good maintenance of these trucks. And this is what is really amazing in Africa. You have talent. They can do amazing things, you know, with basic tools. All right, so, a boma. We're in a salient country. <laughs> so where, do we, where are we going to get these balls? Because we were talking about 800 pieces of wood. This translocation is probably one of the most challenging activity I had to do here in Niger. And I will be proud once these giraffes will be in Gadabiji in their historical range. The ropes are in the right place. We've got the trailer ready. The tow hitch works finally. And we're ready to go. You run with the animal until the, the giraffe slows down, slows down, slows down. It'll come to a stop and then you Cross the rope behind it, pull the legs together, and down it goes. You've got to be organized, you've got to have a bit of experience, you've got to uh, know what to do. So, we do a bit of practice, you know, a bit of a dry run using people running around.
until we finally get to a point where we're confident that we can actually go out there and dart a giraffe. So each giraffe has been caught individually. We identify a giraffe which is suitable age, suitable sex. Dart it. It takes two or three minutes, uh, the drug kicks in. Sometimes they'll go down quite quickly, sometimes they'll give us a bit of a run. At the right stage, we'll pull ahead of the giraffe and using the ropes, pull it down and, uh, and quickly give the antidote. After giving the antidote, that animal is totally awake. Well, from my side, I'm concerned about the safety of the giraffe, but of course you have to be careful of people as well. Uh, there's quite a lot of things we do with the giraffe. Check their age, take some measurements, uh, take some blood samples for disease work, etc, etc. We're about to stand the giraffe up. All of the measurements and everything has actually happened to this little guy, so now it's just remaining is to stand him up and hopefully lead him without mishap into the trailer. The first giraffe is in. Now we're going to get moving so we can get this little guy into the boma where he can just calm down. We've got eight animals here, three males and five females. We could have caught more, but we decided eight was a good number, two loads of four. We haven't done this trip before, so rather be careful. To a large extent, we've been feeding them branches of particularly F.A.D. Herbe Albida. They love the sort of wild melons you get here, so that's been great. They like them, but it's also a great, uh, a great source of, of moisture or water for them. They settle on remarkably well. I mean, particularly these giraffes because they're so used to people. We're just putting on the last little pieces for the truck. Uh, hopefully we'll get it in place soon and give the giraffe a little bit of a feed and tomorrow we'll be on our way.
Get ready. Pull. 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 Big thank you to everyone for the amazing support. The first truckload of giraffe are on their way to Gutterbaji Game Reserve. Exciting times, the first time ever. Thanks guys, we're not out of the woods yet. We've just been on the road for at least a day and a half so far. We're coming into Gadabaji area. We've still got another 50 kilometers through really deep sand. Gadabaji is a commune rural which is situated au nord de la région de Maradi, la réserve qui était de 76000 hectares aujourd'hui. Il y a le pâturage, il y a aussi de l'eau. C'est un habitat qui est confortable pour la girafe. Ça fait 48 ans maintenant que la, la girafe a disparu de la réserve de, de Gadebej. Donc la, le fait de réintroduire cette espèce dans, dans la réserve, C'est vraiment une fierté nationale, disons, parce que c'est pour la première fois qu'il y a eu la translocation d'une espèce d'une zone à une autre. Donc c'est vraiment une fierté pour nous.